What's up? I am back. In this video, I'm going to show you on how to use the list view in JavaFX. The list view in JavaFX allows the user to select one item or multiple items from a list of items. You can use the list view in your JavaFX application if you have a list of items to select from the user. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you on how to create the list view, how you can add the list view, and show you more features from the list view. And let's get started. Open your scene builder if you are using the scene builder application to create the graphical user interface. So here I, uh, I already created the GUI and at the right side I have buttons to select. Select first, select next, free views, last, select all and declare selection. So in my list view, the list view can also be editable. Disable, set the orientation to horizontal or vertical, and the default one is vertical. So this means that the items will be placed vertically if you are using the orientation vertical and the horizontal will be horizontally placed from the list view. And you can set the FX ID in the code section. So I set the FX ID to list view and let's go here the buttons. And I wrap the buttons using the B box. So let's go here at the first button and I set the action event to select first, select next, select previews, select last, select all, and clear. Save and go to, go to view and show sample skeleton, copy the codes and open the IDE and paste the codes here. Alright, so I'm going to set this to string because we need strings in our list view and I'm going to implement initializable interface initializable interface and alt enter to implement methods okay alright I'm going to declare a string for our list of items let's say items I mean array, array of strings, items. So this would be Java as our programming language, C sharp, C, C++, and maybe Python. So to add these items in our list view we can use the we can call the list view variable get selection get items that add all and call the pass in the items variable here. Alright and let's try to run our application to see what that looked like. Okay, we have our items here, and this was disabled because I think I set the disabled here at the list view and at the scene builder. Yes, and uncheck that and save. And let's run the application again. All right, what I want to do is if I'm going to select the item from the list view it will be selected here and display at the your selection label so let's do that okay so I'm going to create a method for our change listener to select from the list view 
let's say private private void select selection chains and I'm going to pass the observable value observable value extends string and observable observable string new value I mean old value and new value so we need to get the selected item and observable I'm going to declare another observable here observable observable list selected items is equals to list view that get selected selection model that get selected items to, to string oops all right and I'm going to declare another string for our values string get selected item is equals to selected items that is empty if no item has been selected we can set a message uh, something like nothing nothing selected nothing selected item uh, I mean no selected item selected items that to string and let's use the let's call the label to set the selected item S the this one selection variable selection that set text and pass in the get selected item all right and let's go here at the initialize method and let's create the list view get selection model that selected get selected okay. selection model uh, selected item property add listener we need to add listener we need to add we need to add we need to add the listener to make this work this selection selection change all right and let's try to run the program if I'm going to select Java it will select Java here and if I'm going if I would like to select multiple items I'm going to set the list view here list view that get selection model selection set selection mode to multiple and let's run the program again Java, C Sharp, C, C++, and Python. That's it. And I'm going to work on this, these buttons next. Let's go here at the 
clear action event. I'm going to call the list view again and get selection modal that clear selection and that's it. I'm going to copy these here that select all select first select last select next and select previews and that's it and let's run the program to see what that look like alright if I'm going to select or click the select first button it will select the Java and select next the C sharp is selected select next C C++ and Python if I'm going to clear all no selected item it will display this no selected item if I'm going to select all it will select all the items in our list view select last previews select first and that's it I hope you learned something new in this tutorial please don't forget to like subscribe comment and share and I will see you in the next video.